This is what manufacturing in the United States looks like today. The smoke pumping factories of the 60s are gone for the most part. In their place is manufacturing that's cleaner, more efficient and high tech. And there are jobs, lots of them. There's hundreds of thousands of jobs, of job openings in manufacturing, yet there's tens of millions unemployed. The U.S. is still the world's largest manufacturing economy, edging out China and Japan. Manufacturing supports one in six private sector jobs in the U.S., according to the industry's trade group. We haven't lifted it as high in this country in terms of the value scale. Maybe that'll change uh, as these jobs become more uh, valuable, or maybe that as, as younger people realize how well paying they can be. The jobs that pay an average of about $77,000 per year, $20,000 more than the non-manufacturing job, are a tough sell, even in this economy. I mean, people always think it's, you know, you're, you know, diving into the oil and fishing out tools. Teens face the highest unemployment rate of any age group, nearly 24 percent. And yet young adults generally don't consider manufacturing as a possible career. It was a lot, like, different how everybody else described it, uh, dirty, um, like smoke, assembly, you know, but it's different. Even if you don't want to run the machine or you don't want to work on the shop floor, you could go sell um, the parts or even selling the machines is a job. So like there's so many different avenues. Employers say what they really need are workers who have assembly skills, experience working with machines and an ability to solve problems. The biggest complaint I've heard in the last three years, even during the height of the recession, was we can't find skilled workers. Every manufacturer would say, I can't find skilled workers. And that's because they weren't out there. We went through this period over the last 10 to 20 years where many of the programs, the apprenticeship programs and training programs that companies built up to train their people when you had a job for life and they would invest heavily in those people, many of those were dismantled. The Manufacturing Careers Internship Program in Illinois is trying to fill the gap. It's a 10-week program sponsored by the Illinois WorkNet Center that gives 18 to 21-year-olds a skills training boot camp and a paid eight-week internship at a manufacturing firm. The program is funded by the Federal Workforce Investment Grant. Our whole point is to help them gain skills to um, be able to be employable and find a job. During the two-week boot camp, interns make rounds to different companies to learn about the industry. I love being around like factories, warehouse space. It just like makes me feel, oh, feels, feels good about myself. And then their place at manufacturing firms. I see myself in the manufacturing business just moving up, just trying to accomplish more, learn more. At the end of the internship, they could even be offered jobs. Before, I didn't have any experience or in manufacturing, but I just wanted to learn something new. We're trying to find people who have some leadership skills so that we can advance them through the ranks. After last summer's pilot program, 10 of the 17 interns were hired directly by their work sites. I want something where I could be there 20 or 30 years and hopefully retire, you know, and gain some new knowledge. For Van and others like him, there is a bright spot in the employment landscape and perhaps a lasting career. For Medill Reports, I'm Susanna Pock.